Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Arushi and before we get into today's video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So for today's video, I'll be reviewing this gorgeous nail wheel from Bon Pati store. The item code for this is 41940 and you can find the link in the description box down below. Again, if you're new to the nail art world and do not know what these are used for, these are basically stones or rhinestones that you put on your nails and they can bring any ordinary manic come to life. They come in a number of different sizes, shapes and also colors but the ones that I'll be reviewing today they are double sided gold and silver colored rhinestones. You get 12 different shapes to experiment around with and these are all really really pretty. To show you how effective these rhinestones are I'll be using this over a really plain manicure. I have just added two coats of this polish I'll link it in the description box as well. If you've never worked with one of these nail wheels before, what you have to do to access the different designs is simply rotate the top layer of this nail wheel and it has this cutout from where you can take out the rhinestones. It is always a good idea to take these out in a bigger container or a tray like I'm using here. So as you can see the first side is this diamond silver side and when you flip it over you can see these gold cutouts of diamond shapes. So you can use either side. To stick them onto my nail I will be using a base coat but you can obviously use anything you want. You can use the nail polish color that you are using itself or you can use a clear polish or even a top coat. Just make sure that it stays wet for a longer time. And if you are going for a long term wear you can also opt for nail glue which is easily available in local beauty stores. To pick up the rhinestones with ease I am using this rhinestone picker set which includes the tray that you see, the pen that I am using to pick it up and also the wax that is wrapped around the tip of the pen. You don't necessarily need to use this, you can also use a dotting tool or even a toothpick dipped in polish to pick this up. Just make sure that it is something convenient and easy for you to use. Make sure to work while the polish is still wet because that way you can easily work around and Place the position of the rhinestone exactly where you want it to. It is not at all necessary to cover your entire nail with the glue or top coat that you are using. You can also just dab a little bit of it where you want to stick the rhinestone. To keep it simple, I'll be doing this only on two of my nails and let me quickly show you what my nails look like after I'm all done. If you want your rhinestones to last longer, you should definitely opt for a nail glue because that would stick on your nail for much much longer. Let me also show you how thick these rhinestones are and you can see on my ring finger that it's very curved so in such cases you will definitely want to use nail glue instead of a top coat, base coat or regular polish. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. If you're interested in buying it, the link will be in the description box down below. And if you want to see more such videos, you can click on the info card on the top right. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. 